What up, this is July from Kickback Couture, and today is going to be a quick tip video. I'm going to show you how to remove rack extensions. So the reason I'm going to show you how to remove rack extensions is because, as you can see, when I make my beats, I'm always like searching for what I'm trying to find, what I want to use. I always have to look for it. There's so much here. I can't. Sometimes I can't remember the name of it and it just makes everything hard. Even when I'm in the browser, I have to type what I'm looking for. And sometimes I don't know how I spelled or I can't remember the name and it's just so much here. So what I'm going to do is go through my rack extensions and show you how to remove them as well as your plugins and show you how to remove them. So what you're going to do is open Authorizer. Um, it looks like this this red logo and you can start at the top, start at the bottom, however you want to do and just remove the stuff that you don't use so I definitely don't use pop cords Alright, so I'm back with Reason Open. Now I'm going to show you how to manage your plugins. So go to Window, Manage Plugins, and then whichever ones, let's go to my Enable Plugins, whichever ones that you don't want on here, just click it and you're going to hit Disable. But anyways, you get the point. You know how to delete your rack extensions. You know how to delete your plugins, or not delete them, but disable them and remove them and if you want to get them back all you have to do is go back to the Reason website to get your rack extensions go to your your um, user account and hit the sync button or download the specific one that you want or you could go back to this manage plugins window and re-enable them alright guys thanks for watching this is July kickback couture hit that like button comment and subscribe yeah